Right, this is going to be not a show. It's going to be something of an art appraisal episode. If people don't know, obviously on this channel, the Insight and Esports channel, a while back, it was actually in the aeons of fucking 2020. I think it was in like, what, fucking almost summer, something like that. We did the TSM Holy War art contest where we did a little art contest. We put up some money and then actually it turned out there was all funny, funny enough people in the community wanted to donate all the money and then we, the prize pool got pumped up and people submitted loads of stuff. I will say that one was like, I'd say like a solid half like memes because obviously a lot of it was like mockery and division of TSM, which I do encourage, but it wasn't so much art, you know, it was more like a funny thing. And we just enjoyed, and that's also why it was cool to do the show, you know, we just enjoyed the memes for what they were and then we looked at the real art and then we decided which ones really deserved it and then I do notice here's a, here's a smaller side I'll do at the beginning Monty because here's the thing I've learned in life you can steer away from the controversy or you can go through it I, I, I'm more of like the Robert Frost approach mate so here's all I'll say all I'll say you will know this but we didn't address it on the show there actually was one moment in that whole art contest thing that managed to make me think, why are we even bothered doing this? Which was because at the end, <laughs> you in an incredibly, in, like, you in no way were promising. You were just saying like, yeah, we'll get it done like next week or something. Because we then didn't get it done next week. People in the contest and then rabble rousers started to literally just be making the most pathetic theories. Like, they just did it to steal all the money from all the contests. And then they're actually going to do it. And they promised to do it now. And while they haven't even announced it. And look at them. They said they're fucking professional. And he's a journalist. And Monty, oh, remember that thing with Renegades? Like, and I remember just thinking, you know what? In this moment, I wanted to just give all the money back, chuck all the stuff in the bin. But then I realised, this is the secret law, that's not actually the cool people who did the art. So why should they be punished for those assholes? Why should we be punished? It was great. By the way, if I put that aside, it was a wonderful experience. I'm actually glad we did it. We've got so many funny things. We've got some great art that I've been able to use. You know, obviously, we found people. You could just got, you could argue people like a Tantalus came out of that and became more known. There was even other people. Actually, that's where I found the Mikachu guy, I remember. So I thought there was a lot came out of it. But I will say, as usual, with fucking esports, no good deed goes unpunished. I've expected that at this point in time. Mate. <laughs> Although you did learn your lesson because now we're doing this video much sooner to the end date of the art contest so True. in a way they trained you properly <laughs> that's also in this particular case because i wanted to just get it done and out the way i don't want it to be like a month-long thing that's dragging on for shocks or whatever and people tagging it in or whatever so i thought we'll just get it get it done fairly quickly so as usual same as the last one we'll do this this is basically just to enjoy the art and to show you guys yeah. all at one place we won't actually decide the winners although we'll certainly give you hints like if we think something's amazing we'll say you know this could be a real contest to win or one thing i want to stress here is though and this is a key thing me and monty we might enjoy art but we're not experts at how it is made and especially not digital art which is what most of this is so unfortunately there are going to be people where if they take a photo that we maybe can't remember seeing of shocks and they do a couple of filters in photoshop it might actually trick us whereas the person who actually is a digital artist like, that's it bro it's like you know the fucking like that's a shop i can tell because of the pixels and having seen many before you know the old school meme right they can do that we can't money i have to just go Looks good, I guess. So if anyone, oh. before we decide the winners, like say a week or so after this, if anyone thinks one is a scam, a filter, and you actually are a legit person, just reach out to me or Monty and, and hopefully we can potentially exclude them if we were going to accidentally pick them as a winner. Or uh, some people were submitting art that was done years ago that was probably not done by them. Right. Now, yeah, I don't personally have a problem with people submitting no, no. old art that they you just don't get have made of shocks <laughs> yes. in the past. Like, I don't really care if it's five years old or not. Um, but I do care if you notice that somebody has taken someone else's art. Yes, so it has to be yours. The past, please let us know. As Monty says, by the way, I actually think that's an area where people probably missed a trick. Someone could absolutely. It, we never said it had to be created for this art concert. If you did yeah. a picture, like one of those fucking things that, listen, it was way more back in the day when it was just like, I do this art of quick shot. It was just like a fucking garbage picture. But then everyone was like, quick shot would be like, oh, my ego a little inflation. Thank you very much. And then everyone would be like, this is, I love quick shot. And it, like, and it would just get to like number four on Reddit. If it was like that, you couldn't submit that now. Yeah, if it was good, you can still submit it. So anyway, it's too late now, of course. Like, that's for the next contest. There will be more contests. You have to understand there will be more contests. Right. By the so way, we'll, uh, yeah. speaking of potential future contests, we didn't do our... Uh, we did a small, I guess, Twitter celebration for the one-year anniversary of our right. victory in the TSM Holy War. Because I, I need to make that clear. We won that. That was a victory. It wasn't just a war. It was a war we won. And uh, depending on how all this Reginald stuff goes... 
There may be a second victory. We may win the second TSM By the way, war as well. <laughs> I know, obviously, everyone's going to go, there they are, back at it again, just like from when they began in February of 2014, ego aggrandizement all the time. Imagining they are the scene, right? In, you know, imagine that, one of us saying we are the scene. Well, it would be an outrageous statement. <laughs> so here's the thing. I actually do think, and I'm not joking, I'm actually maybe deranged enough to believe that Double Lift doesn't ever come out in that exact kind of a way. I don't think there is the same, like, people waiting in the wings with the daggers and the knives out. I don't think there is if we don't do the, the holy war thing. I think that actually was a line in the sand. And then what happened is, you know, eventually even Double Lift was like, I am Spartacus. Like everyone, everyone just rallied, didn't they? Wes, we needed him. He was the big name. I understand that. He, he, the, well, but I'll put it this way we lit the torches of fucking Gondor. How about that? Then that's what we did at least. I'm just saying that, or the there beacons or whatever. There you, you go. Know. There you go. Now, here's the thing we haven't actually explored what the premise of this contest is because guess what? That's what I do on these shows. It's actually why you're all out there going, never gets to the point. Yeah, some of the best fucking stuff because I'm warming it up and I'm getting the conversation going so what this contest is about is not about how shit tsm is that's for every other episode of the shows that we do <laughs> this one is actually entirely about celebrating an individual i'll cr cr crucially phrase this an individual and their contributions to esports you could have gone either direction i'll even say by the way a little thing that to some people might be controversial i don't consider it to be and i'm going to live my life as if it isn't i don't give a fuck what people say right when you are someone who is good looking you are beautiful you are attractive to look at that's actually considered a positive quality i don't know how inverted your hierarchy <laughs> of values is that that's a negative and the person who's good looking we're never to say they're good looking but meanwhile by the way what do we do when someone's ugly and they go off your bad we just tell them all lies that they fucking look good that doesn't make any sense unless you want to create an inverted world so by the way i'll just say this right now great person to do an art contest of someone who's absolutely nailed their look i'll even say this by the way in a detail people might not understand this is obviously going to be of shocks the host of the lec ulcs for many many years she's been done worlds basically done everything in league of legends she basically is the face of league of legends i would say beyond faker if we're talking about you know outside of players etc this is the thing people might not know monty i'm not saying that in a sense of like right and it's always like uh, uh, the old creepy over how someone looks what I'm saying is this I actually think this is a great example for people in the industry another secret it, like obviously you can't just wake up and look three times better looking that's not going to happen but what you can do and everyone does this spoiler look at the people on this show then go watch that episode in February 2014 we did it everyone nails their look you find out like for example remember when Thorin didn't have this beard totally different look wasn't it remember when I had the shitty hair yeah it didn't look that great when I was wearing a fucking Lakers jersey all the time it's alright buddy it's what's inside that counts I don't care what people think like yeah to you are totally perceived differently so I'll just say she's someone who's nailed her look by the way she's got it down yep. completely I'm sure obviously with the help of the makeup artists and the people and finding the right clothes and stuff but to me someone who's absolutely like I to me now this is the quintessence of what shocks is she's grown into it and she's become almost the ultimate avatar of shocks at this point in time yeah and uh, like there's no like there's obviously it's it's incredibly important as an on-camera person to be able to have a distinctive look that people can enjoy. I mean, sure. it, you know, it, it, even in Shox's case, very different than this, but even in the early days of, of Summoning Insight in the shows, part of the charm, Thorin, was you wearing, like, the fur oh, coat. It was great. Yeah, because like, people, people like, who the fuck's in the sky? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and it went with the whole persona, did it? It's like some, some savage coming in from the north. I was like that fucker out of Game of Thrones. You all nailed it. Yeah, I was that guy with the fucking beard who was in that shit episode of The Witcher. I did just walk up like, what, what the fuck's going on here? And start talking shit on over them. I was like, what the fuck? We love all those players, but keep doing it. So what I'll say is this. The reason why we've done this show, though, we haven't just picked randomly to go. We're going to do think about shocks it's because obviously shocks went through recently a tragic personal situation with a bereavement and she basically did what a lot of people would in that circumstance you disengage from the internet you don't daily interact with people and you can't say because your mind state is not in the place where you could do this you cannot say what's going to happen in a month two weeks three months you don't know where you're at in your life at that point in time you have to reevaluate things you have to take time to process what's going on so basically she did imply like I don't know when I'll be back. Maybe even almost like, I don't know if I will be because I know she said she was terminology like I'm broken or something. So I thought to myself in that moment, unlike what, again, people who try to punish the good deed might say, Monty, to me, that is the perfect moment for us to all rally around and to create literally using our creative imagination, unique emblems of art that represent what we feel about her and think about her and how we celebrate her and what we... So I think this is the perfect one because I thought to myself, I didn't know she'd actually see the thread. You'll notice I didn't tag her in it and I never tagged her in any of them. What I actually thought we could do is if she never came online for a month or something, we would just send her a link and then at her own time, she could just get the video, she could open it when she wanted. It's a bit like if people 
people don't know, I've done this a couple of times in, on my on my own channel, where it was when Semler went to Overwatch, and then when Henry left CSGO, I did a video where I got all the, you know, the talent to do a little clip. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. It's a similar thing. It's more, it's more actually a gift for them, by the way, more than the community. The cool thing for the community here is, spoiler, we only put $600 in the prize pool. Now, this is what's cool about this one, if you're actually shocked to watch it, by the way. The other TSM one, yeah, we just have that many maniacs that hate TSM, that they <laughs> contributed. I didn't actually even allow fans to contribute to this. And despite that, by the time the two weeks or so had passed, the prize pool is like, I think it's like almost 3000 I think it's like $3,000 or something. More. I'll look oh, it up at the shit. end of the episode or whatever. It's enormous because what happened was you had... A, People just gradually start donating. And I know it's right towards the end, actually. Loads of people. Obviously, most of them didn't want to be named. Spoiler. Friends and colleagues. You can imagine who some of these people would be. They all just came along. And some of them were like, I'll give 300. Some people gave like 900. Oh, people were going mad. So I think it's cool. Because the cool thing is, by the end, we did get a lot of the art submitted. And some of it is really cool. And the best part is, especially the people in the top three, they are going to get fucking paid. Like the top one gets thousands and thousands. It's legit as fuck. And I'll say this as a final detail on that regard as well, in terms of like setting up the art contest and all that. Oh, fuck, where was I going with that one? Let me think. There's one last detail I needed to hit on that. Let me see. Beyond the prize pool and the contributions and... We extended the number of spots too. We're going to get prizes as the prize pool. Oh, got bigger. I know what it so is. So it's going to be top three, and now what? It's top five. I will say, Monty, for the first week, I was a bit disappointed because now I'm going to sound like the old man sh shouting at a cloud. <laughs> but reading comprehension on the internet, I already thought it was bad. It's actually it doesn't exist. It's like a Gandhi quote. It would be a good. I think it would be a good thing. Like it doesn't exist. Like if you don't know, go back and look at the thread, people. Probably the first 25 comments are just people in text in a tweet saying what they like about shocks. Now, if you go read the original tweet, that was never that was never the assignment. <laughs> you had one job. Again, referencing Game of Thrones all the time in it. Like basically, like, listen, then that the lovely comments. I'm sure if Chox reads through, she'll enjoy them. They're just not in any way, I would say, art. Like it wasn't a poetry contest, and these were just comments. They weren't even poetry. So I'll just say that. And I'll also say one last thing. There is one piece of art we won't cover in this, but we'll talk about later, which is one person did do a song and put it on SoundCloud. I'll put it in the description box of the content. These are all essentially gonna be paintings though and in there there's also like one or two that aren't supposed to be too serious but i threw in there because monty might enjoy them as well so should we start out should we get going yeah let's go right so as usual i'm just going to bring them up here hopefully i'll manipulate them to be as large as they can then we'll give our comments the first one is this one it actually was one of the first ones ever submitted i'll make it as large as i can that's not even the right box with that yes so you can see this is essentially just a pencil drawing but I have to say, for how sparse the like level of um, color and all the picture, they've actually done a fairly good job capturing the likeness. I think on this, and it's almost it almost has like an iconic element to it. I think. I also like that it's only the two colors with the gold on the the jewelry and like the crown, and they use the LEC logo as the the crown. I think it's it's nice. I like what the concept I'll, of it. What I'll do is I'll just say the name of the Twitter user. I won't say the actual... I'll just say what their Twitter is, basically. This one was done by Arcus699. I actually thought when I even saw this one, look, if people do full-on paintings, you're going to have a hard time winning. But this isn't that bad, actually. Like, this is actually, like I said, there's something about this where... I also, I am also, I will say, a big sucker for when people do, like, soft pencils like that. I think if you do them well, they clearly are art. They don't look like a photo, but they, you, they do capture something about the person and the face. And I thought they did a pretty good job here. I like that. Uh, no, it doesn't feel, they must have based it off a photo, but I can't instantly recognize, it's not like the most famous photo or anything. So I like this one, actually. And I like the way they put the LEC crown on her head. If people haven't yeah. figured out what that is, because she is obviously the queen of the LEC and all that <laughs> jazz. It's great. Right, we there. Then we'll go to this one right this was just a meme monty and this actually wasn't even an entry this was by friend of the show cadrell and he just did this for the first week of lec and all i have to say is it's a funny meme and i agree i think it's a great meme <laughs> just nails it all doesn't it nothing that offensive he even donks on himself look he's in the middle hey this is playoffs for me don't know why yankos is catching strays but i guess he's always had good bad with shocks so fair enough you know <laughs> well it's you know i think it was from last year like a lot of the yankos like or the last few years yankos missing spears and like yankos on his stream as well talking Talks about missing skill shots and like memes on himself. Uh, so, I, I mean, Cadrell's meme game is extremely strong. His Twitter is super funny a lot of the time. I saw this uh, on his Twitter and thought it was hilarious as well. I think it's 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 just 
it's it's like a great mix of community memes plus self-deprecation plus like calling attention to the fact that you know shocks isn't there and people really appreciate her presence and i know a lot of i think i i saw it had something like forty five thousand likes on twitter something oh, fucking it, yeah. ridiculous <laughs> everyone was everyone was basically all the pros etc well everyone was retweeting it the first week yeah it's great this because like, again like i said there's not really any downside to this one is it look it's not going to win in the contest like cajun knows he's not even entering i just asked can we use it for this because obviously i'm sure if shocks didn't see it i'm sure she did she would appreciate it if she saw it to know everyone's missing yeah. there right now we'll go to some art where this person submitted too what's that you could submit more than one yes of course you can although i will say we won't allow multiple entries from the same person to win prizes the best or that we think of the entries you do can win now by the way that does mean if you were not you could have just submitted 10 but let's be real most of you couldn't even submit one could you you'll just sit back passively and, and taking on the entertainment and then just saying stuff like ah Tara, what's wrong about that yeah you do something about it then or, oh no yeah just shut the fuck up then you don't argue with the jukebox do you? yeah you think the lyrics should be better like it, that's just how he wrote fucking whatever jumping jack flash i don't know why that would be my just a shit i just hate the fucking rolling stones mate so there you go right this one is by calvaria i don't even know what half that aside was don't worry about it. you just you just like dunking on bands it's all right no reason this is calvaria <laughs> art and there's two of them so the first and the interesting thing is it's completely different art styles and like they couldn't be more yep. different like the first one and mediums it's pretty cool because basically this is almost like that style of art from the aha take on me video if everyone remembers where like on the one hand they have no face but then they've clearly once you do, what they've done here is capture like two of the most iconic styles of dress that shocks would have, which by the way quick aside shows also because if you notice one of the things about those shows particularly is you bring loads of clothes in and they buy stuff that should fit you and actually if you do a good job of it they do a really good job mixing up the wardrobe if you noticed it's actually one area i'll say as a random aside i always used to, used to do a pretty good job with like frost Gordon, for example she had so many different looks she would have on the show and she would like reinvent herself but they were obviously accommodating so i think this is a great example like and i just love the fact that this style from what i know is the style if people don't know you do when you're actually designing the clothes you draw it like yes, a model so like that, don't you? yep and you yep. do like the little sketch over so, so i think they're doing a great because they're essentially they're highlighting her sense of fashion right so what I really like about this one is, and I do wonder when I saw it, I was wondering if this person was a fashion designer, a fashion student, just because this is the kind of stuff that you do. But what's cool about this one to me is, first off, the first one's a watercolor, uh, which is, uh, or at least a, it's a digital painting that looks like a watercolor, but it looks yes. like a real watercolor to me, yeah, which yeah. again would be consistent with uh, a lot of fashion design is done in watercolor frequently. So it's definitely that style. What By I the like way, about spoiler, it is, even if it somehow was done digitally, to the skill you would need to replicate that, you may as well have done it as a watercolor. At that point in time, like when when does the you know the technology blur into reality? Yeah, exactly. you know? Whatever. It's a, it is a watercolor <laughs> color for yeah, all intents and purposes. <laughs> um, either it's a digital tool that mimics watercolors, in which case it is a watercolor at this point in time. But anyway... Um, I, what I really like about this is like you what's what's striking about this to me is that you know it's shocks even though you don't see her face yes. because those looks are I mean we, we were talking at the start of the show about how shocks style has evolved and and how it's very unique and these are very shocks looks um so I really like that about her too is that it's it's recognizable even without the features in play and I think it's cool because we we I don't think we've gotten very many watercolors in, in, no, in no. the last art contest or this one so I enjoy the difference in the medium as well yeah, I will say that as well. I know in the modern day, people want to essentially also show off their Photoshop skills. So they try and go for the craziest digital art ever. I actually just sometimes enjoy simple things. If people don't get it yet, this actually applies to what I like in life in general. I don't really go off the pure aesthetics. I do enjoy aesthetics, like beautiful aesthetics. But I, I enjoy aesthetics for themselves. Like I enjoy looking at a cathedral, whether I know what it means or not. In this particular case, for art, I just want I just want to get the vibe. It's about the feeling I get from it. It's about if it feels like it's legit. I will say this. I've seen them all, obviously. I don't know how many monies looked through yet, but I will say this. I I think this is a contender bear in mind we're giving away to the top five yep. we'll mention the prize at the end this particular i, I think is a contender i like this one it's, it's so unique compared to all the others in there and like i say it highlights an aspect i don't think the others went for actually yeah i enjoy it right the next and, one is by the oh go on or the same artist yeah the same artist right yes the next one okay. is the same artist but i will say I mean, listen, I've just given so much praise. I think the next one's way worse, mate. Like, whatever style they were going for with the next one, it ain't my shit, okay? So, this is the one here. Now, here's my problem. Look, that is an outfit I believe she wore at one of the ones in China, you know? And then, you know, mm -hmm. they have... The problem I have with this is this, right? If it doesn't look like her to me, you better do a fucking insane job on the art. The art better. And the problem I have with it is I'm not a fan of this style somehow of cartoony art, and I also don't yeah. think it looks like her. And I'm just saying, listen... 
I don't care if everyone's like, oh, you're being rude. Yeah, they're trying to win money, motherfucker. You could just put it on Twitter and say, not for the contest. I would never reply, would I? I'd never go, just trash or whatever. And I've just praised <laughs> the other one. Like, what do you want? I'd throw it. So I didn't. Come on. <laughs> it's not trash. I mean, I like some of the detail on the clothing and the background. I think the colors are nice. Again, I don't think it bears a strong resemblance to Shocks. And the weird thing about this is this person's previous art it, it is looks more like Shocks yes. despite not having her features because I think they did a really good job with the, the kind of style <laughs> and capturing the essence through the clothing. This you don't one want to. Design. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Listen, I have to be me. I learned this a lot. Even Richard no, once told me this. So. Richard once told me, don't ever hold back the straight fire. All I'm going to say is this. After looking at this one and then how good the other one is, I know why they didn't draw any faces on the other one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, I think it's, it's an entirely different style, Thorne. Like, I know. Piece. I know. Like, I'm being an asshole, obviously. Obviously, it's oh, not a serious statement, is it? But there's a little <laughs> bit of truth in it. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, all I'm saying is, you know, thanks, Frederick. This one won't be winning. The other one has a real chance, though. Okay. Like and by that. the way, I'm not that kind of person, by the way, because I've been made on this one. I'll definitely give the other one a prize. That actually, you know, essentially, I will I will make my heart cold and I'll be in a move. I'll be like Monty when he judges, you know, Western players. I won't have any sympathy or human empathy whatsoever. <laughs> I'll just look at them and I will brutally, in the light of day, examine and, and expose all their flaws and who they are, even when they're actually just on a show in another box going, ah, oh, shit. It's like, if everyone, that everyone wants to see the essence of Thorin, just go up, this ep look up an episode of, like, Listen Local, the crackdown, I can't remember which one, we did with Golden Glue, and Golden Glue just stupidly asked me, like, come on, Thorin, you wouldn't say to my face that I'm bad or whatever. It's like, just go and watch it, man. <laughs> the way I deliver it, it's the most, it's the essence. I got it, I got it complete. So let's go to the next one. The next one is, this is a baller one, so I'll just say, this is by Flandria Art, who submitted the next two as well. He did three, and they're all distinct styles. So this one is I Am LEC. By the way, I don't know if he's doing that because he just loves seeing legends, or because he's he's following my Twitter account, he's referencing me saying I am esports. <laughs> By the way, quick aside, and this isn't like I've just had my fucking PR team come up with this. That was obviously a a joke, and b <laughs> I am esports. Like if we were to say who is esports, it would be me, yep. it would be DJ Wee, it would be Monty, it would be Richard Lewis. Like there would be. By the way, there'd be hundreds of people. But the point is. This was the point. Go and look at the context of the tweets. My point is people were telling me to get out of the industry of esports. The joke is, <laughs> if me, Monty, Richard Lewis didn't leave, the industry at that point is just a different... It's not the industry, is it? It's just fucking companies. It's just guys going, hey, I got here two years ago. Like, who gives a fuck? Like, in that scenario, like, put it this way. If John Madden said, I am the NFL, everyone would agree, of course. You're, you're all are morons, because as usual, you can never get a win off me. Just off I, I actually say. So you had to go. So he's saying he's the only one that's... Who the fuck said that? Come on. Cool. Also, cool. you're the only person who remembers a lot of the old history of esports. I'm like so the living you being history esports, of esports. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> it would be really yeah. difficult to you know remember that shit for most people. They always say it wouldn't want you because they always go anyone can just look up Wikipedia. No, here's what I'll do. Right, you look up Wikipedia. I won't even do any prep. We'll do an episode, random guy out there, and then you'll tell me what happened, and you'll just go they came fourth, and then second, and then they beat SK, and then I'll just go. Actually, at the time, SKT was considered like you will never be able to do what I did. Yes. So sit the fuck down. Anyway, <laughs> the whole point of the shots video. Is not again as a platform for me. That is an aside, Monty. That is, a, I always, on our shows, we have to bring ourselves that. This piece of art, though, I will say, I actually, even though I will say, it, pure aesthetics, I'm not like super in love with the style or anything, but I love the fact that, first of all, these are the colors of the Belgian flag. They've also done the crown of the LEC on the head, by the way, obvious thing to do, but really and the, the, te the teal and orange are the colors of the LEC, right? As well, okay, these are the blinds, LEC colors that. that they used, yeah. I will say, though, I do think it has a very distinct style, like, I like it. To me, this looks like Shox is going is shown up in my dreams and is trying to murder me. That's how it makes me feel. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good okay. thing or a bad thing, but it, I do find it somewhat eerie. Maybe oh, it's, it's definitely the you know green. it's a bit Lynchian, you know. <laughs> like all I'll say is this, right? If you focus on the her right eye, so the one our left, focus on her right eye. It looks like you know quite an interesting picture. Focus only on the right eye, and it is evil. It's pure evil. Like this is the dark side. This is when shocks fired comes out. You know, like <laughs> I think maybe that's it. It's the combination of the colors. Uh, w the LEC colors make it look very eerie, and then uh, yes, her right eye. Do you want to know something, Monty? Makes this me is uncomfortable. I shall tell you something a little bit sad. I've only ever actually worked with shocks on camera one time. I actually technically worked with her at the beginning of her career because we brought her on as a trial news poster or something at SK Gaming in 2012, right? But that's by the by. I've only actually worked with the shocks that we know. 
basically in 2020, in early 2020, before we all went online, when I did Blast Premiere, and she came and did one week of it, right? And actually, do you want to know the one downside? If they think she's perfectly lovely, she did a good job, it was me and Chad, so it was people who can freestyle very well off whatever you're doing, and the, the desk all went well, the games were good. The one problem is this. I hoped that she would actually come and try and do the shocks fired. I hoped she would, like, fire some bats my way or try to... But she, had, but she just... <laughs> she was on her best behaviour, I think, because she wanted us all in tears going to love her and welcome her in. So actually, I was hoping, you know, she'd try and, like, throw some shit in there. Like, and of course, you don't like Paul as well. Uh, you know, whatever the angle would be, that, listen, if you ever do it again, shocks, you're totally welcome to do it. Because not least, here's the reason why. Then I can open up my arsenal because you have to understand in that scenario. If you're brand new and you're doing two nights, I probably will give you a break, you know. I, I have to know people uh, are really roast them usually. Yeah, I mean, obviously in league, I, I've worked with shocks a lot, but what's what's fun about my relationship with shocks has been that we we were both like press at season two world. So I was working for, I was doing my own site, GG Chronicle, and she was working for SK. So we've actually had like very, I would say mirrored careers in that we both came from from the outside being, you know, esports journalists basically, and then moved into uh, League of Legends being on camera talent. So it's been fun. It happened about the same time. So, you know, um, it's, I've known her for a long time and it's it's been really cool to watch her career over that entire period. As I mentioned, the next two are also by the same guy. And the next two, I like this guy did a really good set of entries. You're going to see they're all distinct art styles. So here's his next one. This one is fucking mega, mate. This is a painting, but I'll, I'll make it go a bit, a bit... Let me see, I've got the wrong one there. Where is this one? Yeah, there we go. I'll just show you the face. Look look at the detail here. I look. This is one where they've captured her. Like, it's not a perfect... It's not like it's trying to be a perfect representation, but for a painting, I think they've done a really good job capturing her face, mate. This is like... Al if if shocks was an Alice in Wonderland, that's the that's the vibe I get from this one. <laughs> it's a, it's a really different style than the yeah. last one too. No, that's what I like, dude. Is that again? You've taken something clearly from it, maybe for a reference, but then what you've done with it's so creative. And I you've also like captured the third one the best. Here's a mistake some of you made. I know I know some of you were going anime style or something like cutesy figures. Well, one mistake some of you have made is Shocks is a lanky person. Remember, she's from Belgium. If you've never been to Belgium or the Netherlands, by the way, same with some of the Nordic countries, there are just people who will just walk by and they'll just be one foot taller than you. By the way, I'm over six foot. Like normally I'm like above average. They'll just be a guy and a, even women just walk past like they're just like a foot taller. You're like, what, what the fuck? Like Shocks <laughs> is one of those people where I remember here's the thing. I get another friend of the show, Gio. If you know, formerly Geometric or whatever, Geocasts on Twitter, right? And also someone made the joke to her and she repeats it. So I'll say the same thing. She reminds me of shocks in that sense because someone once told her she's like 60% leg. And once someone says that, right, you can't unsee it when you see someone in the picture. Is there ever in a picture that's like a slim line one without any pause? You won't be, your brain won't be able to unsee it. By the way, again, you're going to go, oh, how dare you just... No, by the way, that's a positive quality. Are you, are you unaware? Are we really unaware in 2022 that people like to look at women that have long legs? That that would be a positive quality. <laughs> Go and ask women who have short legs if they think that's good or bad. I think they will tell you it's probably considered an appealing quality. It's okay. I think this is, this is a real contender for number one for me, mate. Really? I yeah, like the I next this one, one better. I like the third one, by okay. the way. I was a big fan of this one. I thought it was great. And also, I like it again on this one, by the way. I like the way he didn't try... He did capture the essence of the face, but he didn't try to be too... It's like got a dreamlike quality to it to me. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's got a little bit... Yeah, sure. I like it. I enjoy that part. Yeah, this is the last one by Flandre Art. Who, by the way, congrats to Flandre for winning EGG. Flandre, you know, with Worlds. Maybe Flandre Art will win this. <laughs> so this was, an, again, totally unique art style. This is almost sort of the more darker side. Yeah, I just like the... I, for, so first off, I think it's interesting that the background is the same colors as the clothes. The clothes are definitely like Shox's style. I think the likeness on her face and the expression is sure. is really like contemplative and you good. You got the smile especially. I like the well, contrast yeah. between her skin and like the, the clothing in the background. It really like pops out. I, I really enjoy this one. The only thing is though, the background of this one, this is like if Shox quit doing the LEC and came and did it summon an insight or something. This is the dark shocks. This is the odd fucking, you know, the, <laughs> this is like in that movie Legend where, you know, the, the beautiful princess becomes like the evil queen of the like demon force and it looked like it was Damn, doom that is a, that is a reference. That's a pull and a half, isn't it? <laughs> by the way, I haven't seen, I, I haven't yeah, seen on. that movie in, oh my God. I mean, it's like from the 80s, so it'll be a while. 15 ago, years. Yeah. I think I, I haven't seen it in about 15 years. Uh, Tom Cruise, by the way, is in that one if yes. you want to look it up. It is a, 
It has not aged well, I don't the think. The funny thing is, it was, <laughs> supposedly that movie was originally going to be the movie of The Legend of Zelda, but they couldn't like get the rights or something, and so instead they, they had to switch oh, really? the story slightly. That's why, if you think of it, he's like sort of like an elfie type dude with like a little fairy with him, and then he goes to get... You know, anyway, supposedly that was something. I will say this, though. I think it was Tim Cook was the name of the guy who plays like the devil guy. That guy does a fucking unreal job, and the makeup job on him, he's like... Mm. It looks like something out of Doom, literally. It's fucking insane. So, again, the whole movie ain't that great, but it's, it's not... If you like movies... It, I actually do love movies of the 80s and 90s that use all the prosthetics and didn't have all the computer graphics so in that sense i find it captures the imagination so anyway that's by the by this is sort of the moody dark shocks right let's go to the next one this one is by forza art and this is a very unique one because this is supposed to be her at the beginning by the way they have near obviously it's from a photo but they've nailed what she looked like at the beginning because again she had a very yep. dist- different look that's the yep. interesting thing and then yeah, the it's top, hard for me because i knew her at both yeah, of these yeah. times so like it's i can definitely see that it's it's like an accurate representation of of who she was in 2013 versus and it now. makes you remember because like, this is the problem with games like because each year we just keep doing the same sort of thing you forget like wait a minute 2013 to 20 holy fuck like nine years Nine years, guys. We're, we're almost on a decade of shocks. <laughs> Fucking hell. All right. Yeah, I like how they incorporated the Belgian flag again in the stool. Ah, um, yes. The, the seat that she's she's on. Um, yeah, I think this one's great. I really enjoy this one. Yeah, good one. The next one is by... Oh, let me see. Wait, what, what number? There we go. It's by Labyrinth Pisty. And this is obviously... Uh, a special, a special like anime. I don't fucking know. We are boost style. No, that's not the technical <laughs> terminology they prefer. Money. You know what I mean? They made it all cutesy or whatever. Listen, I'll just say up front. Y'all know me. It ain't my style. Like I wouldn't watch an anime like this. I might watch it if it was about shocks, but I wouldn't watch one that was just like this in general because it's probably not my sort of thing. I'm not into like nine thousand year old demon witches or whatever. You know, just ain't my style. Money, ain't my shit. But I'll say if we're accepting the conceit that that's the world we're entering and we're dropping the essence of shocks into that. They're doing a good, doing a good job capturing it. I like, I like not only that it has the art, um, you know, the, the anime style art, but also that it incorporates like her signature. Oh, it's cool name. as fuck! Isn't it? yeah. It's like, a, it's like a really well presented piece because it's not just the the illustration, right? It's yes, talking. It, it for for me, you know, when we when we put a put put out the art contest, part of it was celebrating Shox's career, and a lot of these yes. are good representations yes. of Shox. But this is an actual literal celebration of her career, which I really I really like talking about what she's done who she's from or, or where she's from um you know all the events that she's been at like having her kind of signature on there makes it feel like more more like you know a celebrity signature right which i i enjoy i will say though again i'm just gonna be me you you guys worry about you all i'm gonna say is this monty you know what i go there i look at the bottom and they've got that list of different things she's done so I, just watch it. I'll, I'll see see if you can spot in this sort of line see if you can spot it goes belgian tv oh, yeah. presenter I don't know about that one <laughs> apparently true yeah reporter i can actually corroborate that's actually a fact esports player uh host of the league of legends european championship and one of those you know so i skipped over a bit quickly listen technically oh i've no doubt she plays again in fact i know she used to play league of legends a lot i think she's even by the way way better than gold so y- y'all can shut the fuck up 90 percent of you statistically watching this episode no matter yeah but one time Monty, i was one i was one game away in my promos from getting to um low plat one time and then and then this guy you, you won't believe he entered on master yeah we know no one gives a fuck she actually was as far as i know i think she was like plat on locks or something so i might be making that up but i'm pretty sure i remember it anyway i will just say the player one you may be stretching it a little bit there come on you may, you push the rest of it's great look she had a magic she had a mega career in multiple fields you pushed the boat up a little bit too far on the player one come on come on come on come on right anyway we'll do the next one the next one is by Lard Jar. Listen, these technically these are people's Twitter account names. They didn't intentionally name them. I'm sure this guy doesn't call himself Lard Jar, if I had to guess. Let me see. Right, this is another art piece. Another watercolor, it looks like, actually. Hey, this is a digital one, though. Oh, okay. This is a digital one. I will just say straight up. I actually don't like this. <laughs> it's not my fa- it's not my favorite. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Like, I think part of why is, though, because this person even said that, you know, they were, like, working right up to the deadline. I think the part I don't get is this. I don't know if it's, like, a style that I don't understand or haven't seen before, so I haven't got the palette for it. I just don't really know what he was going for. Like, I don't know what I don't know what the style is supposed to be. I, I So, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the style, but there are... 
there are a couple things I like about this. First off, I like the expression on her face. Like I like the yeah, confidence. Yeah. And like I like the movement of the hair because it like it implies the this movement motion. of the body. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, I enjoy that about this piece. Okay. Again, look, it is, it is an art contest. I'm not, I'm not going to do that thing where, if, like, all my se- if y'all don't know, by the way, the reason I'll always be in League of Legends as CS:GO is because if I if I come out of the scene, especially if I'm not there to provoke and instigate and be a little fucking trickster figure, if I'm not there, y'all will just be like, double lift is good and ruler is very good and Uzi is the best. It's like, like I don't know if you know, but a ranking skill where you have to set each ranking skill relative to who you're talking about, and it starts with zero. I know in the Monday, you're like, what are you talking about for? Every game, 7 out of 10. That's why we exist. That's how the internet exists, by the way, because of that fucking problem. Every movie ain't That's a 10 why out of everybody 10. hates game journalism. Of course, yes. But enough about G4 TV. <laughs> Here's another one. This is actually a very interesting one because it's, it's like cartoon it. style, but nobody has done a cartoon style like this in the whole art contest. So even though it's not my favorite, like it's so unique, I have to, I have to give it respect in that regard, you know? Yeah, it, and, she, and it, they've it, done it again, by the way. They've done the little checklist, but this one's a little bit more accurate. They put presenter, host, reporter, queen. Three tick boxes for the queen. <laughs> all right, all right. We all, yeah, we all get it. We all get it. And then, but we miss you, sad face. So, <laughs> yeah. I, I also like it has both LOL and CSGO on there. I mean, she's done CSGO events. She said very publicly she wants to do more CSGO events in the in the future. I'm sure we'll we'll see her back there at some point in time. Uh, I like. I think the likeness is like obviously her and very good. Uh, it is a celebration of her career. I think it's a very clean style. Like yes. it, it looks, yes. it looks really well crafted. This is almost comic book art level. And by the way, yeah. the detail you initially miss because obviously when you look at it at human, you look at the face, you look at the tech. Look at the detail on the hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's mega. Like he's obviously put a lot. Whoever it is, put a lot of time. This was actually by uh, Lee Sukana, Lee Suka Seni. That's probably, it's Lasuka Le- Seni, whatever. I'm not here to get names right. That ain't my job. In fact, if anything, it's probably funny if I get them wrong in it. So there we go, Lasuka Seni. I think it's pretty good. By the way, I think that's probably in a shout to protect. Remember, top five, get it. That's, a, that's in within a shout. It, again, if you notice, in the top five. spoiler for all future art contests, it's, again, it isn't about the pure st- I also care about if it's unique. I like it if I'm, like, here's the thing. If Shox looked at that, she knows you didn't just take a picture and do a really close, accurate drawing. You did something totally unique with that. You went in your own direction and nobody's done anything like you. Technically, the last guy could also say that. It's just I didn't like it. So, <laughs> I'm just saying that doesn't make you win automatically. I'm just saying. So the, the next one, I'm going to give you a spoiler, Monty. The second I thought saw this, I actually thought this might be number one. And this is by someone called... Me are you? I think this is fucking really good. It's great. I I I enjoy a lot of the little details here. First off, I think her eyes are very well done and like has like a softness of expression to it. And it, it does feel like she's looking at you and it is like obviously shocks as well. I enjoy like the Easter eggs, like the dolphins in the background, because if you guys don't know famously, and I've heard her do this in person. It's on a Twitter multiple bio, she times. says it as well. Yeah. 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 But I don't know if there's, there's probably a video of it out there somewhere, but in person I've heard her do it uh, multiple times, which is that <clears> she does a incredible impression of a dolphin <laughs> it's just a random skill that she has so i enjoy the call out with the dolphins in the back as well by the way just because it's an appropriate moment where i'm thinking of famous things people associate with shocks i'm just going to let everyone in on a little secret that you don't understand and i feel like shocks herself actually she she didn't she missed a trick by not telling you when she first came back in the day on travis's shores one of the things she infamously did was she had a jar of mayonnaise and she was just like eating it with her fingers or some shit like fucking winnie the pooh with honey or something and and when she did this right, everyone in America and the UK was like, what the fuck? Mayonnaise! Because obviously it's such a like weird, eggy t- What you don't know is this, because I live in the Benelux region, the Netherlands. The mayonnaise here essentially is way creamier and is like, that's why they eat it with fries famously here instead of ketchup, right? So I will say, it's not, like, I'm not personally, I don't like mayonnaise in the UK. The Hellman's, the famous white one. That's too eggy for me. I love the Dutch one though. So I will say, she isn't eating literally that the one you put on your sandwich or whatever. She's <laughs> eating the one that you do eat with fries. So you do also enjoy the flavor it's like all about the flavor i i like uh, fries with mayonnaise too so 
It's a shit. I think it's really good. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, the sleep roll pee, if anyone ever checks out, is satay sauce. That is the fucking banger right there. If you mm, ever have fries, yes. that, that's legit as fuck. Because yep. we have loads of Indonesian places here. So. But like I said, here's the thing, by the way. This is how much I enjoy the aesthetics of this piece. Like I said before, you know what? I'll, I'll abide by the principle I said earlier. I don't actually think this is the best likeness of her face, but it's just such a great piece of art. Like it all just comes together so well. I just appreciate I actually genuinely think this is one of the best ones in the whole contest. Yeah, I like it a lot too. Right, the next one is there's two entries by friend of the show, artist friend. Just say that in case he goes, I don't know him. For all I know, he goes nuts in a few years. I don't want fucking people bring this clip back up. <laughs> artist friend of the show, Mikachu, who if people don't know at this point in time, has done like digital art. He tends to, I think, take photos and put digital art where he traces over them. He's done of them of everyone. And one thing I appreciate about his work, because he obviously did a holy one, just like the one we're about to show. I'll bring it up now. Is... He always tries to incorporate elements of what you do, but in almost like a dream logic sense around you. And he will always, and we'll go to this in later after we've appreciated the art, he always puts, I assume he's a Christian, a Bible verse in there as an Easter egg. And if you just think, who gives a fuck? I'm telling you, if you ever see any of his images, any of them online, is it, go look at his Instagram. All of them have the Bible verse. And if you look up the Bible verse, he might have put as much time into the Bible verse, dude, as he did the actual drawing. <laughs> like, the Bible verse always basically fits what it is. So give me your thoughts on this, and I'll look up the Bible verse. Uh, it, well, I look, I have already the Bible verse looked up. So it's the Ecclesiastes 3. It's very famous. So it's the long section that starts with there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot. It goes on like that. It's from the Old Testament. Um, it's many of you have probably read it before if you even have a passing familiarity. It's also with, used uh, at funerals as well. You know, it's a famous yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So super famous um, passage from Ecclesiastes. And what a perfect uh, and, pitch, perfect Bible verse for the moment in that sense, yep. right? Yep. So I enjoy that about it. Um, also, I like that it shows all of her like different passions yes. and things that she studied and the places she's come from, like Unreal and CSGO and LEC. So all of those coming together. History and journalism, which and she's wearing like the graduating cap because I, I believe those are her degrees. I think she has a... I think her undergrad is in history and she has a master's of journalism, I think. I think so. Um, yeah. She has two. I think I, yeah, uh, that's, that's what I recall, at least. Uh, I could be wrong on that. But so I, I like how it shows her academic career as well as her professional career. You get different looks from different time periods yes. that are all very yes. recognizably shocks. Um, and they are all definitely different time periods as well. That's what's great. Yep. Yeah. Has the Belgian flag in there. Also, he he. This artist frequently does like a stained glass aesthetic, which I think is super cool. Like you could you could easily see this being like a stained glass window or something. Yes. Um. So I enjoy that. I enjoy that about him. And then if people don't know the reason the Unreal one, because obviously she doesn't work in the games, that was just her favorite game to play. Was Unreal Tournament. I think she even played like Insta Gib, where you know it's like a real gun thing. You shoot them once and they die or whatever. It's a quite a fun mode back in the day. If people don't know, Unreal Tournament was like a Psy, It was like a, a rival game to Quake back in the day. Yeah, in so, the early two thousands. Yes. So if people don't know when people do that thing, which by the way sometimes is applicable, where they go. Are you actually even from the game? Because obviously people come in from the outside industry now. Like, like, like my mate OJ Borg, who does the ESL events, he comes out. Hey, Colony, you up? He'd tell you right now. Yeah, he plays Apex on his fucking console. He doesn't know about CS. He never came from CS. So here's the thing. When people go, are you even from the game? Bro, she was playing Unreal Tournament before you were in the game. What the fuck are you talking about? Before League of Legends was a glimpse in someone's eye playing Dota going, how could we badly rip this off and water it down and then steal that Teemo champion that was on that forum? Uh, you know what? Just imagine it if you create a license there, Monty. delete the other community and oh, set it up as a You'd redirect to... to our website. Which, by yes. the way, I, they still have never paid for that crime, which is deeply offensive. <laughs> now... I will say as well, there's another one. Oh, here's the thing. I will say on this one, I think this is actually potentially within a shout for the sort of the, the premise. It's the concept. I, I'm not, listen, yes. I'm not a massive fan of his art style. Like, I don't think like the faces look amazing or anything. That's about, I'm not as big a fan of the lighting. But I think like the creativity of what he's tried to do here and encapsulate her career with the Bible. I actually love, I just love the way it all comes together. I think it's a very complete piece. Really? I think the likenesses of her are quite good. No, they are. I'm just, not, I'm just, I just think I'm not a fan of the lighting style he uses. Like on the faces, I find it doesn't make, I don't find it, it looks that great. I don't okay. enjoy the aesthetics, Monty. That's all. Right. The next one is also by Pikachu. And this is a one where, this was his first entry, also a Bible verse. Tell me I really like this one. one. 
I really like this one. I think it's an excellent representation of shocks. I think it's I think it's a an excellent representation of her style. The expression's really good. I actually love the really bright like neon colors in the background um, because it makes her stand out so nicely with like kind of the lighter the like the white dress and the you know and her skin tone. I think that I love the way it's divided along the line of the tilt of her head. So I find it very aesthetically pleasing that way. And I think it's a more subtle representation of her career because it's, you know, it's like you start with the Unreal logo and then there's almost like this symbolic path that leads yes. over to the LEC and then off the frame as if, you know, there's, there's so much more of her life yes. to live in the future. So I, I think this actually has really lovely symbolism yeah, yeah. to it. I really like it. <clears throat> and I'll say this as well. Even though I don't know if this was intentional, her journey from Unreal through the LEC to that was circuitous, wasn't it? It wasn't a straight line. <laughs> That's how success yeah. in life goes. And uh, for this one, I'll actually say, unlike the other one, Monty, this one I actually much more appreciate the way he's done the lighting on the fit. It looks like he put more detail into this particular one. And if people don't know, I actually think the Bible verse for this one is a fucking incredible one. It's so pointed. It is Matthew 5, 4, and it just says, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. What a lovely sentiment. Yeah. What more needs to be said? That's a, it's very nice and and obviously timely with with the events of her life. But I think this one's just awesome. I really like this one. Right, next one is by not a plush toy. Remember, these are the Twitter names, not that it's the address, not the actual thing. So think you can go look it up. Don't be a nutter. Don't don't harass people. Obviously, right. This one <laughs> is one that I have to say, like put it this way. Watch, I'll show you if I expand the size of it. So I'll just show you a second. Look how the detail keeps going. Watch this. I'll just keep going. I'll keep going. Watch. Keeps going. Wow. Like, I actually can't wow. even show wow. you, essentially, the level of detail, can I? <laughs> Look, it's already it's too scary. big. I have to bring it back down <laughs> to fit on the fucking screen. So I'll just say, this one must have put had a lot of effort in. I'll also say, I do not recognize the photo. It appears to be a purely unique creation. And she hasn't just done an image, whoever this person is. I, I think it was a girl. Look at the fucking background. It's like she cre it's like she created the like the whole world. The whole landscape. Yeah. It's really good. <laughs> and then wasn't so, there a detail? I'll look it up while yeah, I'm yeah. doing it. But yeah, give me your thoughts while yeah, I'm Yeah, yeah, I, I pulled up Not a Plush Toy's ah, there tweets we go. here. Yes. Um and it, Not a Plush Toy said, each of the various flowers you see are the national flowers of different countries around the world as a representation of all the major leagues. So uh, for example, the national flower of America is the rose, and so you can okay. see that in the like bottom left there. And then up by her head on the plant are the rose of Sharon, which I know is the national flower of Korea. Um, oh, okay. I, so uh, I assume some of them are. You know, I'm not going to look up every single one. Like this person did the research, and I trust that they're accurate, uh, regardless of whether they're perfectly accurate or not. I you don't lose the, the contest if it turns out you got one wrong. You lied. I enjoy it. The attempted at symbolism, <laughs> right? The, <laughs> okay. Because the symbolism is is really cool. Yeah. Um. So it's all the major regions. Like I assume that the flower of China, and I don't know which European country for LEC. Maybe Germany uh, was picked here because that's where LEC takes place. And but there's also, a tulip at the bottom right. That's the Netherlands, obviously. Yeah, also said um, the flowers in her hair are representative of the various nationalities of the current LEC players. So okay. around her are the, the 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 flowers of the countries of all the major LOL regions, and she has done world championships in all of the regions, so it's very symbolic of her career. And then her hair contains the national flowers of the nationality of every single player in the LEC, which is just fucking cool. Okay. Okay. Um, I think the style's really good. I like the expression. I don't know if I would definitely peg this as shocks from the face, yes. uh, but I really like this piece. I think it's really good. Yeah, the thing is, this is another one where I think the concept and the level of detail and effort is incredible. I also agree. If you asked me, if this wasn't a shock, an art contest, you said, who is this? I would go... I don't actually know. Like, I can't I can't recognize the face, essentially. So I'm not a big fan of the likeness, but I'll say this. I actually do think that with all the effort put into the symbol, and now that we know what it is as well, the symbolism, what it means in the head. So essentially, it's cool, because what they sort of done is capture, like, the divine feminine essence of shocks and what she yes. brings to the to the LEC in that regard, isn't it? Yeah, and I, I just, I love that it was a really unique idea for how to represent her career. That this per that no one else would have ever done, right? So I appreciate the creativity of that a lot. 
Right, the next one is by Ostu, and basically, this is one where they've taken a photo, it looks like, and photoshopped it to look a little bit, I'm guessing, to look like art, and it's essentially almost like, like, I'm not sure this is pure art. It looks good, I will say, the aesthetics look incredible, like, you've made the photo better in, in some sense, so, what do you think of this one? Look, if I it genuinely it's... is a drawing, like, if they drew over it or something, I think it's good, <laughs> it's very good. I don't think so, I think it's a Photoshop edit, Probably. but I think it's a, you know, as as some like a Twitter header or something like that as oh, like a sure, bio yeah. picture. It's, it's fire. It's, it's good. Yeah. It's really good. It's simple. She stands out super nicely, shows off her style. Um, yeah. I don't think it's a drawing. I think it's just a, like a graphic designer who is trying to celebrate her career, which is interesting in and of itself. I appreciate it. And if people don't know, these are the details you got to pick up on because Shox has nailed her style. She's also literally nailed how she stands. This is always yes. how she stands. What she does is because she knows she's quite lanky, she doesn't want to make herself just look like a beanstalk. So she, she'll she move to one side and it adds like a little bit of movement. And it, it does, does something to the look. I don't, it's like how she frames herself always in it, in those images yep. she does on, on the old Instagrams or whatever. I also think, again, because it is from a photo, like it does look mega. Of course, yeah. it looks mega, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it really pops. I love the blue dress with just the white background. Right, this next one by Prota. I'm going to tease you a little bit. I think this is also a potential prize winner. I think this is a really good one. Look at this. This is another one, by the way, where I have to just show you the size of it as well. Look, I'll do the same thing. Yeah, I'm zooming in on it too. So, like this one, I almost can't do justice again, but... It's obviously, again, you've painted over an image here, but look at the things you've done with the image in the background. Also, by the way, like, I'm almost certain she's even done this, like, clothing style. Like, she, she's not someone who likes fashion, you know, like the off-the-shoulder little jacket approach. I think this is a mega one. Like, I don't think it's, like, the most incredible, like, raw piece of art, but I just like, again, it's one that, for me, it just all comes together. I like the vibe of it. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's an illustration of the one of the lec music videos that they did so the reference is from that um i have pull, pulled the dance with me like kia commercial that they did so um you know it's pulled from that and she's wearing like that outfit and it's just a good representation of her from that video yeah. it's not the most creative thing in the world because it's no, literally no. just from you know it's an illustration from a music video but it's a very well done one right the next one is by rin hallwood who interestingly, if you want to know, is also the girlfriend of Tom Bismore from CSGO, who's a caster, if people don't know. So she's, I've not seen tons of her content she's done in CSGO, she's done something about me, etc. I think great. this one is, this is a really good one. Because not, not only does it capture the likeness, what a unique style. Like, it's just her style of art. Yeah, I love the kind of splatter effect that really highlights her. The orange and black is is super unique. I think it nails the style. Um, I think it it nails the attitude in a way. Like oh, I love sure. the kind of like playful confidence that comes out of this picture. It's it's great. No, I think this is a banger. This is, this is one of the best ones in the whole thing for sure. In fact, I almost feel bad that the fact that we're not going to wax out for twenty minutes on it. I don't have that much more. I just think it's really good. Makes the <laughs> yeah, will make the artist think, oh, so so oh, it's just fucking hard. It's great. You spent twenty minutes saying how oh, you fucking didn't like the other one. Like, no, it's just it's just really good. I, I don't I don't have that much more to go into for this one though. I like it all. I like it all. There you go. You know? It's like Shepherd's Pie, I just like it. You know, I'm not gonna wax it up for twenty minutes. Yes, can I have some more? Thank you. Uh, it was nice. Yeah, enjoy the gravy. Right, so the next two are by Chiffon, who's actually a guy on my Discord. And these are both, again, totally unique styles of art. So the first one is a painting. I think this is a really good one as well. I think it's a, I, I love how unique and the different art and the, the color. It's like This is one of these ones where it looks like colors just clashed together and made chocks in the middle. Yeah, it's very LEC style. Again, it's the LEC colors in the background and like doing the 50% orange versus the kind of teal color that they use with a lot of the color gradients between them. It's it's a lot of what the LEC graphics package and style is. Um, I, I love the contrasting colors. I think it's like a really unique take. I lo Again, I think this is a really good representation of, of Shox's personality because again, you can just... You can just feel like the confidence and comfort in this. Um, yet it's still very, very welcoming with the smile that she has and like the expression on her eyes. So I think this is, it really does feel like shocks to me when I look at it, which is great. I think it's the really best good part thing. to me on this and no one else nailed it quite like this is the, it's the shading he did on her cheeks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's true. perfect. He's captured very that absolutely perfectly. Yeah. Cause yeah. It, cause that, it just makes the facial structure for you when you see that part. That's what immediately tells me it shocks, you know? 
I think that's a banger. I think that's a very good one. Right, the yeah, next one by him is another one. And on this one, it's like, fucking hell, what are we tapping into here, mate? Bloody hell. Yeah. Like, <laughs> right, you know, it's a celebration and that, you know, keep the spirits up. Bloody hell, keep the spirit. What? Fucking hell, listen. Listen, it's, it's got, listen, I, I'll give you this. It's got atmosphere. It captures your <laughs> eye immediately. You start wondering, you start getting yeah, curious. I, what's going on here, you know? <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't say that this strikes me as a celebration of Shox's career. Uh, you know, it's, I don't know, it, it, Maybe maybe it's how she feels right now. That, that, could, that be. could be a True. representation of that. Um, I, I think, which by the way, I do think is what the person was maybe trying to capture on this one. It's the sure. idea of like tapping into, you know, like something along those lines. Like, I know how you feel. Maybe maybe it's something. That, maybe the person's had experiences themselves with bereavement, and they just wanted to show, I don't yep. know, what you look like in that scenario. So if that's the case, I mean. Uh, that's fine. I don't know if it was the, the purpose of the contest. To be, I think the the other one is much more representative of that, and I, I I prefer the other one personally. And by the way, I could be mistaken on this, but I think it's supposed. I think that's not supposed to be her hair. I think that's actually supposed to be her with like a hoodie up over her head. And I think she does when she's like at home and she does Instagram stories. I, I think mm. she does sometimes dress like that because if you know, it's like women often often look like like oversized hoodies. It's like a fashion thing. They They're enjoy comfortable. For somebody. They are, but I prefer them just to be my size, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm all weird like that, Monty. If I just pick the one that fits my body and then go, all right, get on with life in it. I never think about the fun clothes I'm wearing, isn't it? Said the guy who began the show again with a giant fucking coat on with the thing. The only thing <laughs> is, though, the only thing is, though, you have to say this. The weirdest part, the weirdest part of how Summoning Insight started, because that was obviously my look at the time. And spoiler, I didn't actually create or craft that, people don't know. I genuinely come from a poor family who couldn't afford to put the heating on, and I just would literally sit in a cold room with a coat on all day like i didn't put it on for the show i was wearing that when i wasn't on the show so what people won't get but this is the surreal part you know i've always told you the problem with life i don't necessarily think it is a simulation unless we're going like the maya fucking illusion version right but i do think there are elements of life where it's almost like uh, the script writer didn't have time so he just chucked that in right how could it be in like even though technically i guess already already had we are had you already in this point in time actually met that wildling character because I didn't in any way copy my look from him, but no. I did have a huge ginger beard at the time. I didn't used to shave it as much. And I did have that ridiculous, like almost like those Game of Thrones things that go around like the... the you look good in that. It was fire, <laughs> yeah. Sadly, in all other houses, I enjoy actually... Believe it or not, Monty, this would be crazy. I enjoy central heating. So since I always turn it on, <laughs> I can't even wear those quotes anymore now. Can I? It'd be too fucking warm, wouldn't it? Like, so that's just gone for now, isn't it? It's just gone. Yeah. All those TSM haters watching your videos gave you money and destroyed your look. Not here's the mad thing. You won't, you'll think I'm trolling when I say this. If I read comments on YouTube, I endeavor not to for obvious reasons. <laughs> By the way, if you're a fan out there getting butt hurt, just read the other comments. You'll fucking be glad I don't. Surely you want my mental health to be good. So, sorry that yours didn't get read, but that's just the way it is, isn't it? I've got to fucking I've got to do me. So all I'll say <laughs> is this, right? Literally, I think I'm, I haven't seen one this year up until even last year, Monty. Especially if it was a TSM one, people would come and they would put comments and go, "Lol, he can afford heating." Spoiler, I've actually not lived in the UK since 2017, guys. <laughs> I, it's not like it's last week. I didn't just take that fucking court off last week, did I? I've already done a million times with all the shit's going age. Like, give me a break. I haven't had that thing. But anyway, I don't also I don't thought it was funny. So let's go even, to the next even, one. Even before 2017, you were living like half the time in Korea anyway. Oh, so. exactly. I never used to wear it in Korea. So. Yeah, exactly. Right, this next one is by... Slufja, obviously it's just a Twitter name, isn't it? This one is a pencil draw. It's like a, a charcoal drawing, and it's obviously supposed to be the moment when Shocks was like comforting Dyrus when he started crying. Now, now here's the thing. First and foremost, before we get into the art, this just made me laugh when I look at Dyrus's face. I love the <laughs> fact that you know one thing they always do in art. And I'll say this right now, Monty. You know people who do like that early anime girl. You know where they do cutesy anime styles. One thing they always do when they take esports people is they make them look twenty pounds lighter if they're at all overweight, and then they always make them look way cooler than they are. What I love about this is this is like someone in court because they've just captured all the. <laughs> scruffy it's, hair it's, it's, the it's, fucked it's, up it's, glasses it's <laughs> uh, when you cry you have an ugly face when you cry everyone does <laughs> they've just captured like the essence of the man <laughs> yeah i also you know obviously i view i think the history of league of legends very differently than most western fans because i think for western fans this was a very iconic moment I thought it was a mega yeah of course yeah for for me who primarily cared about better regions of play 
I, you know, I like Tyrus. I'm friends with his dad for fuck's sake. Like, uh, but <laughs> you know, uh, for me, his retirement was not like a big moment in the history of the game because he was never like a, in anywhere close to being a world-class player as, yeah, as well sure. as he did in, in North America. Um, but I think that this interview was really powerful. Um, I think this interview is great. Uh, you know, very well done. I, I, appreciate when players will show their emotion and it was uh it was very impactful uh from that perspective and i think that shocks handled the interview really really well and i think this is one of as a celebration of her career even though like her i laughed at this because it's like the shocks is just kind of like at the side of the frame and like i think the the expression on her face is very good and clearly yeah, this is taken good. from what was being shown on camera yes. like it's supposed to be a snapshot of what was shown on the stream, right, uh, when this was going down. And so you just didn't have more of shocks to look at. So it, it's representative of a, a very, I think, powerful moment in in her career and in the history of of the, the sport in terms of English speaking fans. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's super well done. And it's like really candid. And it reminded me how good she was in that interview. And like I was saying, one of her strengths, I think, as a personality is that she can, she very tactfully handles moments like these uh, with the players and gives them the space they need while also making sure that they are able to express themselves to the best of their abilities. And I think that's one of the most valuable things that she does. And uh, yeah, so oh, I, sure. I, enjoy, I like that a lot. I like that. A yeah. Lot. What I would say is, first of all, this is one way because at first you see it. And first of all, if you don't know art, you might just think it's pencil, but it's actually obviously just charcoals. If you look at the detail, etc. And then if you look, though, the more you look at the detail, actually, the better the art is. The actual like level of detail is being able to get in. There's mega the like, folds on the, face, on the clothing. Face, yeah, exactly. Like the hands, the hair. Like it's actually done. It's actually quite technically good. I have to say as someone who's just an amateur. And I'll also touch on echo on what you said about the interview. This is where... Another one of those moments where it's like, I could just wake up and put good morning, the sun's shining outside. And then they'd go like, wow, so you wish death upon all the people on the side of the earth that doesn't have the sunshine. Like, you can't win with some people, right? <laughs> so I'll say there was a thread I did years ago where I talked about women interviewing, right? And why they might ask a question in a different way, potentially, than a man might. If they ask the same question, they might have a different purpose behind doing so. One of the, th the areas in which I think women sometimes make very good interviews, and I say that as someone who considers myself the best interviewer, but a different type of interviewer. I think they are fabulous interviews where they do actually emotionally connect with the person they're interviewing. I don't do that when I'm interviewing someone, Monty. I'm thinking of like, I'm trying to like get cool ideas going. I'm thinking about what they're saying. I think, what does that mean? And what that, and what would I say next to that? And I'm crafting my eye. I'm not trying to go like and emotionally connect to them. If I see them have an expression, I might think, oh, they're, they're, they're feeling emotion. They're th but I wouldn't actually myself directly connect with that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mirror it. I wouldn't be able to. So I, actually I would, that would be an area I wouldn't be a strong suit in my interview. So I, again, I, I think she was one of the perfect people to do that. And by the way, as a quick aside, here's a little tangent for you. If anyone watched The Wheel of Time on Amazon Prime, it's fucking garbage. They ruin half of it with stupidly <laughs> woke stuff. And here's the worst part of how they ruin it, Monty. I haven't read the book, so I had to, a friend of mine I told me book. this... <laughs> A friend of mine told me this detail. They told me they literally, spoiler, obviously fucking stop watching if you don't want to know about Wheel of Time. They literally ruined the essence of the book, which is apparently one of the key themes of the book is that in the age they're in, it's when only women can use the magic yes. power, except this main guy, and men all go mad, right? Whereas in the yes. age before, they could both use it and it was about cooperation. Yes. And the part of the story is about the idea that men and women on their own can't be the best in existing rule. You need to have the cooperation and people do what they're good at. And so I would say by the way that's what i'm bringing out in the point of this interviewing believe it or not not only as massive demographics do we all have something to add people can in, in a sense understand that by abstracting the term diversity but i would say what's brilliant about the world in general is people have the individual qualities that they bring out and their own flavors and their own little picante and then also you have the things that you have because you're a man or a woman because you're 30 or you're 15 or you're 30 or 45 no matter where you are if you channel it properly you can you can bring out some something that can contribute to a greater whole and so I think that's why for me I've always enjoyed like I said this type of an interview because it's what I would never do it would never occur to me you know 
I would say even if you are a man and are very good at emotionally connecting with your interview subjects, you also have a hurdle to overcome, which is that the other person you're interviewing may just not be as emotionally open around other men because that's sure, how yeah. men can be sometimes. So I'm not sure, you know, it's also about the comfort level of the subject with the person, not just your own skill base, right? Because it's the interaction between two different people. So, you know, I think if, if, uh, Dash had done this interview, it may have been really different just because I think Dyrus may have behaved differently um, of his own accord, right? But I think I think this is really, I think this interview was was just fabulous from Shox and I think showcased so many of her strengths and she just, you know, it is, it truly is like an art to know how to handle these situations and to read them on the fly and know wh when to like try and get a little more information how somebody's reacting, you know, if you're going too far, if you're quiet for too long, or you need to kind of reel them back in and make them feel comfortable again. It's <clears throat> fucking hard. Uh, it's really fucking hard. And she is great at it. Yeah, I will also say as well, if people don't understand part of the skill as well as as you say, it's what to say, even if you connect yeah. with the feeling, even if you know they're upset, I should probably say something. The, the words you say have to be so measured and weighed out and carefully considered because here's the problem, right? I'll actually even relate this to when someone has a tragedy and you they say, I've had a tragedy happen. Your first thought is, I'd like to comfort them or say something nice. You know what you then realize? Fuck, that's hard. You can't just, like, look, you can go with the simple one, my commiserations or sorry to hear that happen. But if you want to say something unique to you, it's really hard. I will say this is one area where if I have time, you might say I've done this sometimes on Twitter. If I have time to sit down and really craft what I'm thinking and phrase it properly, I can sometimes, because what I like to do personally is the same when you give someone a card. I don't like to buy the Hallmark card. I buy one where I make up some concept or I draw a piece of art or something. You know, I, try to, I try to show again, like the art contest, I'm going to get basically take a piece of me and show you what I feel about you but regarding this situation and so hopefully bring out some extra essence because for example one thing for example with bereavement that's very very hard is there's a million things you could say very quickly off the cuff that are, you mean well that are terrible like for example personally I, no matter what your religious feelings are I'm not someone who likes to go it's all right they're in heaven now it's like whoa whoa we're like, you're bringing in a whole dimension here that could get very <laughs> like dangerous for everyone who the fuck wants arguments like you know like again similarly when people say stuff like the person loved it. It's like, hey, bro, you don't actually know this relationship. Like, this, you're treading in. I know you mean well, but you are treading in really dangerous territory here. Where even though it's well intentioned, the problem is the other per state the other person's in. They could take that really badly. So I personally, I try to come up with some angle. Where one thing I try to do is I abstract it again. What I try to do is I'll often say something like, "I'll give you an example." There was a player this happened to, and I basically just told him, like, I looked at what his career was before his dad had passed, and I just said something along the lines of like. I mean, your dad got to see you become like a world number one in the world. He got to see you accomplish it. And I basically said, like, you have to consider that might be a, a father's dream to see his son essentially, you know, become a man to succeed in his field. So I said, you've got to be very careful because you got to, I, I had to make it a little bit sort of vague there, you know, because I'm talking about the ideal of a father. But you'd see what I'm trying to connect. It's actually really true. Yes. I, don't, I think people underestimate how hard really this hard. sort of thing is. Way harder than they think. Right, the last yeah. piece is coming up now. This one is by Snake Bame or BM, and I think this is a contender for winner, mate. Yeah, I, really it's a, good. it's it's its own style. I like the sketchiness of it. It's a really good likeness of Shocks. It's a celebration of her career. I like how the picture in the middle is more realistic, and then you've got more of the like cartoony symbols of her career. You know, with the simpler drawings around the outside, it's a super nice contrast. I think. Um, yeah, I think it's it's really good. Here's what I like about this. And this is, again, obviously, I'm not an artist. Well, you know, listen, at the risk of doing another IME sports, you know, like I want to, I am art or whatever. Like, listen, I think in my in a way when I do is art, you know, but that's also not shit we just say when we're having whiskey or something. Right? What I would say is this. What I really like about this is, to me, the skill of the artist here is, think about when I praised that Dyrus one, right, where it was so much detail, all the little, like, shading and the cross-hatching and, like, the style of, like, the fucking 70s underground comics or whatever. Think about the one where it was the watercolours coming in and all that. What's a amazing about the inside drawing here is like look at the face there's actually barely anything that they've done they've essentially used the concept of capturing like the white space and creating yep. her out of that look at how little actual shading there is on the face and yet it's one of the best representations of her face and emotion of all of them yeah and it's you know it's done with some like good uh, like cross hatching and everything like that if you like zoom in on the shadows under the 
the eye, uh, the eyebrows there around her eyes. It looks really good. I mean, it's, it's very oh, yes. iconic. It's very yeah, iconic. They, it's, this is it's almost like recognizably a her style it's, too, as well. Yeah, it's it it celebrates her the very the you know the various aspects of her career and you know her her journey through the industry in a variety of roles. I think it's really fun. It's really fun. Right. That we also is have the all, song. Yes. The the one last thing now is the song. Now here's the Which thing. We'll link. We'll link. You will have to go and watch below because listen, I know you entered it in a contest and I know you haven't copyrighted it. You're not going to catch me. If I don't let Riot Games catch me, you all ain't ever going to catch me with a copyright strike. So I'm going to the end with none. So listen, that's all well and good. They can click it and listen to it, mate. All I'll say is this, right? I'll give you my initial thoughts. I was initially, listen, I'll, I'll, cards on the table. As soon as anyone goes, I've got a song. I'm probably out because here's the thing. If you know people who are songwriters, it's like people who are script writers in Hollywood, movie, in Hollywood, Monty. They're really fucking annoying because they really want you to listen to their song, don't they? Even if it's not good, even if they don't know if it's good, even if no one's told them it's good, they just really want everyone to listen to it for some mad reason. And it's one of the reasons I hate Reddit because if people don't know, if you ever follow a subreddit to a niche band, you're waiting for the update on the subreddit of like the new EPs out. But instead, you get an update when you go on Reddit and someone goes, hey, check out my band. I was inspired by Burial. And you go, Fuck you. I don't care that you wouldn't... Your guy, who are you? You're not Barry Elias, so I don't want to hear that. And also, <laughs> the amount of times I click, and that... You just tricked me. It was clickbait. It's not, it's not even like Burial's music. You just claim you were inspired. Like, what, is, what even is that? That's nothing. That That is nothing. So what I'll say is this. I was worried at first, especially when I heard the sort of... The strumming of the acoustic guitar, because again, the sort of person who might do an overly self-indulgent song that isn't that good, it's always the guy with the acoustic guitar envisioning all the girls sat around him in a little sort of you know sort of jazz club you know <laughs> and then he's and here's a little one i wrote you know i'm just gonna say it's about my mom do, 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 do. like come on yeah we all know that but i'll say it, once this started i actually found it was better than i thought it was gonna be monty it wasn't bad so, so i i do like singer songwriters quite a bit uh and so what style would you say it's in then Who, who's it in the style of uh it's it, the one comes to mind no not not one in particular that comes to mind okay. um but I, I enjoyed how th later on in the song they use some like sound clips from her career, uh, like her voice as well, and integrate like samples. Um, which also again, not catch him with that copyright strike either. So just saying, <laughs> you'll never get you can sneak him in any way you want. You'll never get to catch him. With, don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, so we'll we'll link to the the artist SoundCloud below. I thought it was a I thought it was a a, a nice a nice tribute. Um, I thought it was a nice tribute. Right at the end, what I'll just quickly do is the contest began on January 6th and the initial prizes were first place was going to be $300, second place $200, third place $100. Then as we went on, I'll just read out the people who actually donated. We had uh, Light, who's a guy who works for me, Jerky's Minion, one of our top donators, people know him for many shows, he's a cool guy in the esports industry, uh, uh, from just from a fan position. Um, let me look who else. Uh, Bot Pounder 420 listen... Classic. I asked them if they want to be credited. Of course, he wants to be credited. You all know why that would be. But fair enough. But he donated a bunch of money. Thank you. Um, let me see who else. There was also... Uh, let me have a look who else. Oh, Nelson, the assistant coach previously of G2. He's now with... Excel. Excel. Yes, absolutely correct. Excel. All I'm going to say is that project's going to be really sad if it fails this time. Because now it's Young Buck and Nelson. All of and Duke Doc. It's like they're putting all my eggs in one basket, Monty. If that fails, what can I do then, mate? I'm done then, aren't I? It's all my favourites. So as a result of all these people donating, and there were a lot of people, like I say, some very cool industry people who donate privately, the prize yeah, pool uh, at the end... Tavikins as well. Uh, so I know oh, he right, didn't okay. request to be... I, I don't know who requested to be What game is he from? Like fighting not. games or something? Isn't he from like Smash uh, He was the GM of CLG as well. He was from Melee, uh, Smash Melee, but he was the GM okay. of the LoL So he's team. done some good and some bad, you know, with a very <laughs> measured career. Uh, he actually's a cool guy. I know people hate him because of that CLG thing where he like told them they were fired or whatever. But I think that was just a misread, guys. I think he's a genuinely yeah. decent guy. Uh, like Frodan as well. Uh, I don't know. There some, you go. Some, yeah, I, I don't know who requested to be anonymous uh lore donated she didn't request to be anonymous from lec okay. um so those are the ones that i'm aware of uh and besides if they had requested monty too late now isn't it so i can't redact <laughs> no here's the thing i'll actually read out the final prize purse so the final prize purse which was the whole thing was over three thousand dollars remember we started with oh, 600 shit. and first plan first place 
is $1,370. By the way, that's already fucking... That's already makes... I don't care what comments people said, shitty comments. It's already worth it that the winner gets $1,370. That's mega. Second prize is $855. Third prize is $480. Fourth... We expanded two more spots. Fourth prize is $275. And even fifth place will get $125. So I thought that was pretty cool that we're going to give away all this cash to all these people. They will be rewarded for their art. And obviously, the joke would be... But didn't we benefit more from their art and the appreciation of Ben 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 Shackton? I would say maybe. I know I'm supposed to say yes to end it, but if you really do get the 1,300, I feel like you might get more of that, if I'm being honest, you know. Like, I enjoyed it, but, you know, I'm not going to cherish this for everything. You do get, like, you could basically buy fucking, you could buy a PC with that, mate. Yeah. Enjoy your new, enjoy your new fancy uh, tablet and PC that you could buy with that to make first. Oh, yeah. There's another thing. If you're an artist, reinvest it back into art. Do more. I'm not saying, listen, I'm not saying it like it's a business that you can enter our next contest and win that. Like, it's not, it doesn't work like that. But I'm just saying, why not buy some more cool shit? Do even better art? Yeah. Awesome.